quick stop here at Lawson's, which is a convenience store. My bike is looking clean. I don't know if you can tell, but I just repainted the undercow there. It still needs to be color sanded and polished, but it is looking good. Coffee break time. All right, so one great thing about the convenience stores here in Japan is that look, you can see here in the convenience store, but behind, usually often on the side, they'll have this little section, small count, uh, it's like a little coffee, coffee shop area where you can sit down, take a break, and um, if you're lucky, you can park your bike right outside and keep, your, keep an eye on your bike and take a quick coffee break uh, while you're on the road. So this is, um, I look for convenience stores that have this. It's hard to tell whether it has this or not, but it's nice if you can find a convenience store like this to take a quick break. If you're just gonna make it a short stop, uh, it gives you a place to sit, enjoy a coffee or a juice, and um, you can uh, lovingly watch your bike as you take a break. So, quick tip. Yeah, yeah, this is, we stopped here before. Uh, it's a little, it's a little Michi no Eki, but not too far up ahead is the, is the lake. But we could drop in here, it's kind of a cool place. Yeah, we stopped here last time. And it's one of the Michino Ekis. I I I recommend. Uh, I don't know anybody who tours in Japan or drives in Japan knows that Michino Eki. You look for these for to stop at. And um, I'm just recording and talking a little bit because I was thinking of doing a a video on Michino Ekis. But basically, if you find the right ones, you're gonna find a bunch of riders getting together. Also, a lot of traffic depending on the day, but um, it's a great place to stop. You can also get uh, food and use the bathroom. Hey, there's even a quick charger here for electric cars. So yeah, uh, just anywhere. But yeah. Fun thing about stopping at a place like this is just seeing all the other bikes that are out. Yeah. They're all out here. A couple of cool triumphs over there. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, so here we are at the Michino Eki. You can get a lot of uh, local foods, snacks, and like souvenirs. So, um, what they call omiyage here in Japan, it's, it's a souvenir shop, so you get all these kind of uh, snacks from this area. We're getting close to Mount Fuji, so there's some from Yamanashi, even though I don't think we're technically in Yamanashi yet. And lots of pickles, snacks, umbrellas that look like samurai swords. Look at this. It's pretty cool, no? Suppose. Anyways, if you're out riding and you want a place to stop, look for the Michino Ekis on the map. You often have a cool selection of local local produce. Wow, look at that. They even have sake here. Anyways, these are cool shop, uh, presents to bring back, or gifts to bring back, souvenirs and all that. Alright guys, that's it for this little tour. I'll turn it back on once we get back on the road. So here I am at another Kumbi. This is uh, 7-Eleven convenience store on my way home and get coffee here and here's another little sitting place which is very common in most what in a lot of convenience stores now and park your bike outside you can keep an eye on it keep an eye on your stuff rest and have a coffee and cool off a bit before uh, heading on your way so 
keep an eye out for these places, great places to stop.